In this video, we're going over how to use the Samsung Galaxy Active 2 watch for beginners. Welcome back to another video. If you find this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button down below, favorite it, and make sure you subscribe as well so you can get alerted every time we post new videos. Today, we're gonna to walk you through how to set up and how to use the Samsung Galaxy Active 2 watch for beginners. And I'm gonna be doing this demonstration from a non-Samsung phone because the cool thing about this watch is that um, you can use it on any uh, Android phone, not just a Samsung phone. You just need to download this app here, which is the Galaxy wearable app that you'll find right in the Play Store. So you'll go right here, find your Play Store, and you'll just do a search for the Galaxy wearable app. And we're gonna download that right now. While that's downloading, we're gonna just tap on the selections on the screen here. So swipe up to let's go. So right here is showing you uh, get started in your Galaxy wearable app. So we have the app downloaded right now, perfect. We're gonna tap open and follow the prompts to initially start. Uh, you will wanna enable device location and this is gonna be um, helpful in the watch finding your phone, so make sure you have that enabled. And there it is, make sure these numbers match, the B563, B563, perfect. Tap here. And this is just the first step in linking up your phone with uh, the watch. We're gonna just check that box here, allow access and hit pair. Tap here to connect. And now it's gonna ask for you to install another plugin for your phone, which is this one here. And it'll tell you if the app isn't compatible, but again, it should be compatible with just about all um, Android phones. So after that is downloaded, we'll need to go back to the Wear app, Galaxy Wearable app here. And looks like there's one more install, the Samsung accessory service. So we're gonna install that next. And then we will go back again to our Galaxy Wear app. So once you have those two extra plugins installed, this is the final step here where it's gonna finish the pairing process. And once it's finished, you'll see the screen change on your watch. All right, we are all set now. It has finished the process and it's just asking us to review some of the terms and conditions. For this, I just like to only approve what is uh, absolutely necessary, which is the mapping. So you could just do that one right there. All the others say optional and you're gonna hit agree. Hit allow. And then you'll hit allow again, allow. You can decide how you want location permissions to work. Um, you don't necessarily need this, but you can enable it if you like. I like to do only allow while using the app. And tap there, then hit your back arrow right there. Okay, so for this section, um, if you wanna use certain apps, for example, access to weather or the SOS app, you do need to have your location set um, to always, so right here, you'll hit agree, allow. You'll have to change this to allow all the time if you do want those live weather updates and also that SOS feature. If you don't want those, you can bypass that or you can hit don't allow. We're gonna go back now, hit allow, allow, allow. And this is optional. Um, if you do have a Samsung account, Great, you'll sign into it here by hitting sign in. Or if you'd like to set one up, it actually gives you access to uh, a lot of Samsung uh, services. One of them, which I think is super helpful, which is the find my watch and find my phone feature. Um, it'll help you to locate your watch if you were to have lost it somewhere. You can use their GPS technology to find it. Um, but you do need to set up a Samsung account first to be able to do this. So you can tap sign in here and it will give you the option if you already have a Samsung account to just sign right into it. 
uh, you just put in your information. Or if you don't have one, you can tap on create account now, and then you can just set up your quick account with an email address. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign into mine now, and then we'll move forward. Just for context, I'm using the uh, Pixel 6 Pro to set up the watch, so um, that is the interface. Obviously, all Androids are slightly different, um, but um, this is one of the, the newer Android phones I'm using for this setup. I'm gonna skip this backup section right now, hit next. Uh, let's see, keep your watch connected to your phone, yes. And we are good to go. That is the, those are the main setup um, things you have to do. And you can see on our watch here, it says, take a look around. This is where it'll give you a cool, quick snapshot of using the watch. So we're gonna uh, swipe that way so you can see some of the different apps that are pre-installed. So this is the home screen where you see the, the time, obviously, and when you swipe to the right, this will show you any notifications that have come through. So if you got a text message, an email from your phone, swiping to the right is how you um, get to see those notifications and interact with them. This it's pointing to is the back button right here. So I'll just tap that to get back to the home screen. No matter what you're doing, tapping that button always takes you back to the home screen. And then tapping the bottom button takes you to your home key, which is where you'll have all your apps. So tap that. This is our app screen where you can see all the different apps installed on the phone. And then swiping down from the top of the screen brings up your uh, quick settings. And this will show you um, different things. For example, your control your brightness or put it on night mode or put it on um, vibrate. Or it's still trying to go through the, so I'll go back to that in a second so you can see all the different options there. So next cool thing is when you see this little dot on the left, it's telling you that you have new notifications and a quick swipe to the right is how you swipe through to see all the notifications. Once you've read one, if you'd like to delete it, you can just um, swipe up to erase it. So, I, so for example, this is a pop-up and I can just swipe up and that will delete that notification. So that's how you see them and then how you delete them as well. Now back to what I was showing you earlier, swiping down brings this quick settings menu, which allows you to put it in night mode, change the brightness. So if I tap here, I can um, increase or decrease the brightness on the screen, which is definitely great for when you're in the movies and it's dark and you don't want your watch um, to be too bright. Hit the back button there. Um, I have a do not disturb here, which will also put your phone in do not disturb as well. So FYI, if you want to put your watch on vibrate just so that the notifications come through, but they just vibrate, just tap on the little speaker in the corner here. And you can change from ringtone. Let's see, you'll tap on ringtone here and you'll just want to go down to zero Zero automatically puts it in vibrate and then you can start going up from here to control how loud the notifications will ping. They can get pretty loud. Like that's basically way too loud. You never want to put it on a 14, but um, you know, you can put it on like a four or five and just to get that uh, little uh, reminder when things are coming through. Um, you'll have an option here for settings to get right to the setting uh, phone settings here. This is to control your um, your always on, which is a really cool feature. So when this is enabled, it will keep the home screen on all the time. So um, in the normal setting, when this is not turned on, the screen will stay on um, for about five -ish seconds if you're not touching it and then it will go to sleep. If you turn this on, then your screen is always gonna be on, which is a cool feature, especially if you have a really cool wallpaper or a watch face and you want people to see it. Um, having the always on display on is really cool and it, it can draw cool attention to your watch. But it does drain your battery, so you need to be aware of that. So um, I would use that sparingly. We can just swipe down again to turn it off. Let's try our back button here. 
turn that off. Swipe to the left. We have a bunch of other modes. We have a specific movie mode here, which lowers the, or it's a theater mode. It lowers the uh, brightness and it turns off all the sound automatically. This is another cool setting. If you go into a meeting, you can just put in that theater mode. You have a flashlight, which it will basically light your screen up super bright so you can use it as a flashlight, which is cool. I actually didn't know that, so I'm learning that for the first time as well, so always cool. Flashlight, you've got your battery saver mode, so if you want to um, get that battery to extend longer, maybe you didn't charge it and you want to still try to get through the day, you can put on battery saver mode. One important note is that in the battery saver mode, um, the notifications come through a little differently. So like you'll get notifications, but you'll have to uh, tap on them and do a few extra things in order to read them. Um, again, the, the point of battery saver mode is to restrict the functions of the watch, like still make sure it's working, but to stretch the battery and it does that by restricting uh, some of the notifications that come through. All right, so we have this setting here as well. So this is the water lock function, which is a great feature for um, the times when you're swimming or you're working out. What it's gonna do is it's going to disable um, your touch screen and the gestures so that the watch doesn't go haywire if you spill water on it, like because you're working out and you're sweating or you're in the pool and it's, uh, again, it's in the water, it's out of the water. It's disabling the touch screen temporarily so you can do normal things without the watch vibrating a ton. All you need to do is hold down on the home key for two seconds to exit the water function. There we go. So pretty cool function. And again, you know, makes the watch, makes the watch really functional when you're still doing those active uh, tasks. All right, you got your Wi-Fi here. You got airplane mode as well. We you go on planes here to disable your cellular connection. You've got a Bluetooth connection here as well. You can actually pair your watch right to your Bluetooth headphones and you can play music through the watch or uh, through your phone. Um, depending on if you have the 4G model or the Wi-Fi model, you may use that more. Uh, like if you have the 4G model, you can store music on the watch as well. And then pairing the Bluetooth headphones is perfect because you can literally just take the watch and your headphones out and you're good. You've got your GPS option here and your uh, battery uh, options here for the different options from power mode to optimized battery. So um, I would encourage you guys to use the optimized battery mode because that's gonna get you more battery life. Power mode is taking advantage of a lot of the extra functions, but the battery is gonna drain faster. Um, so we'll just select it just like that. And it will do the optimize here. And it's showing you uh, on that setting, you'll get a day and three hours of battery life. All right, if you wanna go back, we're gonna hit our back button here. Okay, so these are most of the main functions. We've touched on just about everything. And so again, just showing you how to navigate the main screen here, swiping left will take you to some of your shortcuts here. So like a shortcut I use a lot is the timer. I can tap right on timer and these are preset timers. So one minute, two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, or you can swipe um, to the left to get to more 15, 20, 30, or set a custom timer. I often use this for uh, laundry. So, you know, I'll go up and just say, oh, cool. Laundry's going off. I'll tap on the minute um, section. And then I just swipe to get to, what is it? My laundry machine goes for like 52 minutes. So I go to 52, I'll hit start, and then I've got my countdown. I can go back home after that. And I still have this little small icon at the bottom that's telling me I have a timer going as a reminder. And you can tap on that to take you right back to your timer to see how much time you have left. So that's pretty cool. Let's cancel it now so it doesn't go off randomly. 
So that is the timer. And you can also set your alarms on the watch as well. You've got your contacts here if you'd like to, to dial someone directly from the watch. And your um, different exercise modes. Again, these are all the, the preset options that are gonna come already. You've got your heart rate measure. You just swipe over here if you wanna measure your heart rate and it will keep track of it in the uh, app as well. Weather your calendar, and then you can add more widgets. They have uh, a bunch of other cool options. You just basically, you swipe your finger in a circle, and that's how you can quickly navigate the menu. You can also go left and right if you want, but uh, again, swiping around the edge is how you um, quickly swipe through that list. See that, I'm just right around the edge. And you can see all the other widgets they have available. One really cool one I recommend is the water tracker. Keep track of how many glasses of water you have for the day. And then there's like some music controls for Spotify. Just a, a bunch of really cool options you have available. And those are the widgets. Now, if you wanna change the clock face from the watch, you just need to hold down on the watch screen like that and then you can swipe left and right to see some of the preset watch faces that are in the app already. So we've got quite a few, they've added so many. And some of these you'll see are some of the uh, watch faces that I've purchased. Basically, once you download it on the phone, it will sync that watch with the phone. So when you swipe through, you can see all these other options too. So I'll show you one of my favorites here. It is, let's see. This one right here. So this watch face is one of my favorites. You can um, hold down on it and you can change like the colors of the text. So some watches will have that customized option at the bottom, some won't. If it has customized, it's telling you you can make changes. And here I can, um, I can swipe through. Oh, Shouldn't have done that. Okay, hold down again, tap customize. And the first section is color, so you can swipe along the edge here to go through some of the color options. So it's a little tricky, but I'm swiping on the edge here to see some of the color options that are available. And we will settle on, which color was it? The green, perfect. Then we'll swipe over and then you can make specific changes to what shortcuts are gonna be in the four sections. So date, steps, weather. These are all the default options, but you can change each of those options to reflect different things. So anyway, this is one of my favorites. Changing it was super easy. If I wanna change it back, hold down again. I'm gonna just swipe over and pick a different watch face. Just pick this one again, and we're good to go. So this is everything you can do from the watch. Now, let's go over to the app so you can see some of the different options that are available. Okay, so now that we're in the app here, we have um, sort of the same options, but we have more advanced things that we can select. Um, I, I love to demonstrate what you can do on the watch because you will primarily be controlling the watch from the watch, but there are some advanced things again you'll wanna do that you need to get the phone out for. Um, so one thing is apps, for example. You can customize the order that the apps will show up in the app menu. We can also download more watch faces in the app as well. So I can come to this section here and I can see a lot of other options that are available for download. There's just so many, um, there's a ton of free ones as well, which is great. And obviously lots of paid apps too. So you, you can kind of go through here and get lost in how many different options there are. Just to show you, let's say I wanted to download um, one of these ring apps right here. I just tap on the little arrow, 
right over the watch face and it's gonna begin downloading um, that watch face and then it will sync it with the watch to make it really easy for me to download it. So from here, I'm just gonna tap, hold down the home screen and then I'm gonna swipe through and see, and here it is, I just downloaded this one and it's already synced with the watch. So this one, this one, and this one are already synced. If I wanna change it, I just simply tap on it and it's gonna select that as the new watch face. So super easy to download new um, watch faces. And again, there's gonna be a lot that are gonna show up in the app, but there's even more um, outside of this. So we'll go back. We have our quick panel as well, which I went through. Now, the cool thing about that menu is you can customize it. You can change the order of the apps. You can just simply tap on one of the little dashes here to move or just to delete an option and you can hold down on others. Let's see, can you hold down? Yeah, you can hold down to change the order of how the apps are gonna appear in that quick settings. You also have some other options down here that are available like a, a play stop button for music, NFC, a, a power off, a watch always on. So you've got some other things you can just hold down on and drag right up to this section where I think it might automatically add it to the end, but that's fine. All right, if you swipe up, you'll see you've got a few more options here. So more watch settings. All right, and we're gonna wrap it up right there. We tried to keep it just simple, you know, basics of how to navigate the watch as well as some of the important things you'd be doing in the app. Hope you guys did find this video helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care, and as always, have a good one.